Hello and welcome to another Django tutorial. My name is Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com. In today's tutorial, we're going to create our first Django project. And we're going to do that using a command that tells Django, hey, listen, we want to start a new project, and Django will go through and install some required files for us. And I like to re refer to these files as the heart of our project. Um, they handle configuration of our project, they handle um, the settings of our, our um, Django project, so they're very important. So if we didn't do these steps, we would mainly have to manually have to write out the, uh, this code to make sure our site functions properly. But luckily, Django does this for us, so we don't have to go through those steps. So before we even um, go ahead and put in this command, I want you to just take a look at the file we're in right now. And this is our virtual environment file. So ls. And you see in here we got bin, lib, include, and pip self-check. Now these all have to do with the virtual environment and how it handles stuff. Alright, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and now create our project. And to create our project we're going to do Django admin start project and then um, we have to add one more thing down here and that's the name of our project. I'm going to call ours LPT and it could confuse you. It's different from the virtual environment over here, but our project is Learn Python Tutorial. So um, I'm going to call it LPT, and the reason I do that is so it doesn't confuse me down the line when you're working with multiple projects and I say, hey, I'm going to go work on LPT, and then I can't remember what my virtual environment is called or what my project's called. So I try to keep them all the same, and I'll show you a little trick that doesn't confuse you down the line. All right. So we're just going to call it LPT. Now you can call it whatever you like, but uh, that's what I'm going to call mine. I'm going to hit return, and now uh, Django is going to set up our project for us. But it doesn't return anything on the command line, so we're not really sure if it did anything. All right, But it has. So to check out what it has done, let's go ahead and hit ls again. Now here's our ls that we hit previous to starting the project and we had bin lib include pip self check that all has to do with when we set up the virtual environment now we got bin include lib lpt self check json lpt is now um, the file that uh, not the file the directory that Django created for us so let's go ahead and change into that and see what that contains so we're going to cd lpt all right now let's list it out now you see we got LPT and manage PY, manage .py. All right, so <clears throat> what are these? Well, manage .py is um, basically where we get our commands from when we're working with our Django project. They give us the ability to manage our whole project, and you will learn a lot of these uh, commands through our project. Oh, as we go through the tutorials. So we'll be using manage.py quite often. All right, um, LPT now is our um, actual Django heart, all right, if you will. Um, it contains all the important files. So let's go ahead and change into that and take a look. L CD LPT, all right. Now let's list out what's in there. We got init.py and what init .py does is it's a file that's normally left empty and it says um, it indicates to uh, Python that this is a Python package so treat it as as one all right so <clears throat> uh, you will see several of these in it.pys normally we just leave them alone unless for some um, reason you have to create a sort of initiation code um, for when your project runs the init, um, initiation of the code uh, you might want to write some in there but that's quite rare so usually that file is just left alone um, blank and Python reads it as a Python package now the settings.py file is um, where a lot of our settings and configurations for our project are stored and this has to do with like servers and um, uh, the applications that are stored on, are installed in our project and stuff like that. We will look at this one in depth shortly. Now, URLs.py 
Now this is the main URLs of our um, application. Now there will be other URL files throughout our project, but this one is where um, it branches out. This is the trunk of the tree, if you will, and it branches out from here, and this is where we control our URLs and how they're set up throughout our project. Now the WSGI um, file is used for WSGI compatible servers that access our project. It is like the door into our project. Um, we're not going to talk too much about this, but if you want to read more about that, it is available on the, the DjangoProject.com uh, documentation. If you just look up uh, WSGI.py, you'll be able to find a lot of information on that if you're interested in that. So we're going to really discuss the settings and URLs so I'm not going to get into that now because that's just going to be a tutorial all in itself um, and you'll learn a lot about the settings and the URLs as we go through our project as well so now that we have our project set up and Django installed the most important files for our project we can go ahead and jump into our next tutorial so if you have any questions about this uh, leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. Don't forget to like the video, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share it, and we'll see you in the next one.